Okay, so this question here is asking us to solve for x for the equation x cubed minus 6x squared plus 13x minus 10 equals 0. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check see if there's greatest common factors, which we do not see. Uh, we can't do difference of squares. We can try to factor by grouping, but we can already tell that it's probably not going to work. Um, so what I'm going to get us to do right now is jump into the rational root theorem to see what we should try uh, to find for possible roots. So for the rational root theorem, we have to just see our last term, which is our negative 10. We know its factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And then the coefficient of our first term and its factors are just 1. So we set this up as plus or minus 1, 2, 5, 10, all over 1. We know this gives us possibilities of plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 10. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and save us the trouble of trying to figure out which ones these are. I'll make another video to show how we can find very quickly using our graphing calculator which one does work for our function. I did was, I was able to find that I was able to find that 2 there we go stop working for a second. That 2 did work. So I'm going to set up to use synthetic division with 2 as my divisor and I'm getting these numbers right now from my coefficients. So we go 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 times 2 gives us 2, negative 6 plus 2 gives us negative 4, negative 4 times 2 gives us negative 8, 13 plus negative 8 gives us 5, and 5 times 2 gives us 10. So the remainder is 0, which is exactly what we want. So this right here is telling us that x is equal to 2, or that x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can set this all up again as x minus 2. And then inside here we have our coefficients uh, of a 1 for our x squared. And the reason it's squared here is because our highest degree in our original question was a cube. So we always go 1 less as our biggest. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 5. That is all equal to 0 still. Now what we need to figure out is can we factor this guy down at all just by looking at it? No, we can't. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use our lovely quadratic formula, which we know is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2. So then we're going to start to plug our numbers in for this. Our a is 1, our b is negative 4, our c is 5. So if we start to plug things in, we're going to get um, x is equal to negative negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 all over 2 times 1. Now our x is equal to negative ne negative negative 4 is just a 4. Plus or minus negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 5, which is 20, all over 2 times 1, which is just 2. Now we have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 16 minus 20. We know that's equal to negative 4 all over 2. If we continue to reduce this, we get 4 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4 because the square root of negative 4 is equal to the product of negative 1 times 4 or square root of 4, sorry, all over 2. Continue to keep working through this. We know that x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is just i the square root of 4 is 2. This is all over 2. Now we're going to reduce our fractions a little bit. 4 over 2 goes down to 2 plus or minus i. The 2's here cancel each other out. So now we know that x is... I'm going to write this up here because we're going to have to scroll back up. 2 plus or minus i. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up so we can see. 
So we know that our final answer is going to be x is equal to 2, which we found right here. And I guess we can also see it right here. That's the same thing. Now we also found that it's 2 plus i and 2 minus i. And this is our final answer.